Hello, I am Seema and welcome to part 20 of the chapter Solutions. Let us now solve a few numerical problems based on the colligative property depression of freezing point. I'll be doing, I'll be explaining two solved examples and one in-text question. And I hope with this it would solidify the concept of depression in freezing point for you. The first question that I'll be solving is question 2.9 or example 2.9. It is the solved example. The question reads, 45 grams of ethylene glycol, that is C2H6O2, is mixed with 600 grams of water. You have to calculate one, the freezing point depression, that is the depression and freezing point, which is delta Tf, and the freezing point of the solution, which means you are supposed to find out delta Tf and Tf. T naught F is what we already know because the solution is of water, the solvent is water and the freezing point of water in Kelvin is 273.15 Kelvin. So that is something that we know. So what do we know? Water is component 1 and ethylene glycol that is C6H6, C2H6O2 is component 2 and water is 1. So what have we been given? 45 grams of ethylene glycol which means W2 is 45 grams. This is given to us and is mixed with 600 grams of water. So water W1 is 600 grams. You have to calculate the freezing point depression. In order to come to this, what is the formula that we are looking for? We know that delta Tf is equal to Kfm, where M is the molarity, which can be written as Kf, and molarity of the solution would be the number of moles of solute and what is the solute? The solute is ethylene glycol. In order to calculate the number of moles, what do you need? You need mass upon molar mass. The mass is given to us. So into W2 upon molar mass is M2. In the number of, uh, what is molality? Molality is the number of moles of solute in uh, 1000 grams of the solvent. But what is the mass of uh, 1000 grams or 1 kg of the solvent? So in order to calculate the kgs of solvent, you need the mass upon 1000 will give you the mass in kg. Grams upon 1000 will give you the mass in kgs. So this would be into divided by mass in kg would be into W1 divided by 100. So divided by 100, uh, sorry, 1000 that goes up. Uh, divided by 1000 goes up. So this is the formula that you have. Now we have all the quantities. We have W1, we have W2, we have 1000, we have Kf. Kf you have to find out from the table. In the textbook it has not been given. They expect you to look into the table and find out the Kf for water, the solvent water. Now uh, you are supposed to find out molar uh, the number of moles of the solute, uh, sorry the molar mass of the uh, solute. The mole of mass M2 is to be found out. Now, what is M2? M2 is C2H6O2. In order to find out the molar mass of this, that is M2, what is the number of carbons? There are two carbons and the mass of one carbon is 12. Plus, there are six hydrogens, six, and the mass of one hydrogen is one. Plus, there are two oxygens and the mass of one oxygen is 16. And when you solve all of this, the molar mass of ethylene glycol comes out to be equal to 62 grams per mole. 62 grams per mole. Right? So now you have the molar mass of ethylene glycol. You have all the required quantities. So now in order to calculate delta Tf, let us substitute all the values. Delta Tf, which is de depression and freezing point, or we are solving A now, is equal to, the value of Kf is 1.86 Kelvin kg per mole into W2 is 45 grams into 1000 grams per kg upon M2 is 62 grams per mole into W1 is 600 grams. Now we have all the quantities. Let us cancel out the units. 
Since we are looking for a difference in temperature, the unit of difference in temperature should also be in Kelvin, right? So all other units should cancel out. And if they do cancel out, that tells us that we've plugged in the right values at the right places. So Kelvin is alone. Kg and per kg get cancelled. Per mole and per mole get cancelled. Gram and gram get cancelled. And the gram and gram here get cancelled. So now you are left with just Kelvin. And that's right. And when you solve all of this, what do you get? You get the value 1.2. Sorry, 2.2 Kelvin. 2.2 Kelvin. Right? 2.2 Kelvin is the difference in the uh, in the freezing point. And you are asked the second part of the question is B. You have to find out the freezing point of the solution. We know that T naught F for water is 273.15 Kelvin. So delta T F should be equal to T naught F minus T F right it is this would be equal to delta T F we know is 2.2 Kelvin and T naught F is 273.15 Kelvin minus T F so now let's take TF here and 2.2K here. So TF becomes equal to 273.15K minus 2.2K. And when you solve this, you get 270.95K. 270.95 Kelvin is your answer, right? So you've calculated both the final, the temperature that is the freezing point of the solution and the depression in freezing point that is delta Tf is this. So you get Tf is here. So you get both your answers. Let us move on to the next solved example. Give me a minute to write down the question. Now this is question 2.10. The question reads that one gram of a non-electrolyte solution, uh, sorry, uh, one gram of a non-electrolytic solute is dissolved in 50 grams of benzene. It lowered the freezing point of benzene by 0.40 K. Kelvin. The Kf for benzene is given, which is 5.12 Kelvin kg per mole. You have to find out the molar mass of the solute. The formula that we are using here is delta Tf is equal to Kf into M, right? And in order to calculate M, we, we know as we did in the previous problem, this would be Kf into W2 upon W1, sorry, W2 upon M2, W1 into 1000 grams per kg. Right? Now, what all is given to us? Let us see. The solvent, that is, the solvent is benzene. C6H6 is the solvent, therefore it is component 1. And the solute is the component 2. 1 gram of non-electrolyte solute, non-electrolytic solute is W2 is 1 gram, 1.00 grams is dissolved in 50 grams of benzene. So W1 is equal to 50 grams. Benzene is 50 grams. W2 is 1 gram. Has lowered the freezing point of benzene by 0.40 K. That is delta Tf is given, which is 0.40 Kelvin. This is the depression in freezing point, right? The value of Kf for benzene is given, which is equal to 5.12 Kelvin kg Per mole. So you are re required to find out Mt, M2, that is the molar mass of the solute. Let us substitute the values delta Tf, or first let us uh, change this, or rather uh, move M2 here and bring delta Tf down here. So M2, according to this, would be equal to Kf into W2 into 1000 grams per kg upon delta Tf 
into W1. And now substitute all the values. Kf is given to us, which is 5.12 Kelvin kg per mole. Into, what is W2? Is 1 gram. Into 1000 grams per kg upon delta Tf is 0 0.40 Kelvin into W1 is 50 grams. Right? And now, since you're finding out the molar mass, what should your units be? Your units should be in grams per mole. So when you cancel out all the units, you should be left with grams per mole. Let's see if that happens. Kelvin and Kelvin get cancelled. Kg and per kg get cancelled. Gram and gram get cancelled. So you're left with gram per mole, right? And therefore you've plugged in the right values. And now when you solve this, you'll get 256 grams per mole. 256 grams per mole is M2. Right? This was a simple problem. Let us now do one in-text uh, problem. And with that, I'll wrap the video. Now, this is your in-text question 2.11. The question reads, you have to calculate the mass of ascorbic acid. C6H8O6 is its formula. It is vitamin C. To be dissolved in 75 grams of acetic acid, CH3COOH, to lower its melting point by 1.5 degrees Celsius. KF is given to you. Few things that you have to pay attention to. The solvent here is acetic acid. You have to calculate the mass of ascorbic acid to be dissolved in 75 grams. So acetic acid, that is CH3COOH, becomes component 1 and C6H8O6 becomes component 2, right? Now, what are you given? You've been given 75 grams to be dissolved in 75 grams. You have to calculate the mass of ascorbic acid. That is W2 is to be calculated. W1 is given to us, which is 75 grams. To lower its melting point, that is delta Tf, is equal to 1.5 degrees Celsius. Now, the value of or the magnitude of 1 degree in both the Celsius scale and the Kelvin scale is the same. So, the number of degrees is the same. And when we solve our problem, the value of Kf is given in Kelvin. Therefore, we need to convert this to Kelvin also. And since we're talking only of the difference, if both the temperatures were taken in Kelvin, the difference would still be 1.5. So, 1.5 degrees Celsius can be written as 1.5 Kelvin also simply because it is the difference in the temperature. So, and the value, the magnitude of one degree is the same. So the difference in 1.5, whether you say 1.5 degrees Celsius or 1.5 Kelvin is the same. So delta Tf is 1.5 Kelvin. Now, you're supposed to find out W2. In order to know this for the formula, you need to know M2 also. Let us write down the formula. Delta Tf, we know, is equal to Kf into M. And M is the molality. Now, I'll ignore, or rather, let me go on as I did earlier. So, Kf is equal to molality can be written as the mass of the solute, that is W2, upon molar mass of solute, that is M2, into the volume of the sol uh, solvent, or rather solvent in kg, the mass of the solvent in kg. So, this will be 75 grams is the mass in grams so in divided by 1000 grams per kg will give you its mass in uh, will give you its mass in uh, kgs so i should not write this rather for uh, since i'm writing only the formula i'll write w1 here right and what are we expected delta tf is given to us kf we know w2 is to be calculated so, how would you calculate W2 would become equal to delta Tf remains as such. These two come up into M2 into W1 upon W2 stays here. What comes down? Kf comes down and 1000 grams per kg comes down. Now, in order to substitute the values, we have all these values except M2. So, let us calculate M2. M2 is for C6. M2 of C6H8O6 can be calculated, the mass of the molar mass, 
Carbon, there are six carbons and the mass of one carbon is 12. So 12 into 6 plus the mass of hydrogen is 1 and there are 8 hydrogens. So 1 into 8 plus the mass of oxygen is 16 and there are 6 oxygens. So when you you'll multiply this by 6. When you solve this, the mass of the molar mass of um, ascorbic acid comes out to be 176 grams per mole. 176 grams per mole. Now you have all the quantities that are required to substitute. So you can calculate W2 by substituting all the values. Delta Tf is 1.5 Kelvin. M2 you just calculated is 176 grams per mole. W1 is 75 grams divided by kf is 1 point uh, 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 delta tf kf is sorry 3.9 kf is 3.9 kelvin kg per mole right into a thousand grams per kg now what are we looking for we are looking for a mass that is the weight so our answer should also be in the unit of grams and all other units should cancel out and when that happens that gives me a kind of a happiness you know that i've plugged in all the values at the right places so 1.5 kelvin and kelvin here get cancelled kg and per kg get cancelled per mole and per mole get cancelled and so now you're left with gram and gram and they also get cancelled, so you're only left with this one gram. And that's what you want. You want your answer in grams. So when you solve this, the value of W2, when you um, calculate it, it will come out to be equal to 5.08 grams approximately. 5.08 grams approx. So that's your answer. Right? Easy. So all you have to do is you must, whenever you solve a numerical problem, I tell you, go to what is required first and then see what is given. What all do you need to calculate in order to come to this? And once you have all your values, plug in the values and solve the problem. So I hope this helped clarify the idea of depression of freezing point to you. And now in the next video, we move on to the next uh, colligative property that is osmotic pressure. So if you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, recommend it to your friends and please keep returning for more videos in chemistry. Thank you for watching and bye bye for now.